This week, we are going to pick a few questions that you've sent to us and we'll provide some candid uh, answers. Grow this community, share this with your friends, your, 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 your relatives and your, your colleagues so we can create an ecosystem uh, through which we can advance our technical, scientific, and, and, and human ideas. Why not? Let's do it. Uh, make sure that uh, you have uh, subscribed so we can continue this interactive session uh, throughout the year. The first question we received was from Mr. Uh, Jean-Michel, and his question was, what is the benefit of space exploration and satellite communications uh, in the changing world that we are living today. Now, Jean-Michel, uh, the best way I can probably answer this question is this. Uh, if you are born in one particular village in Cameroon, it is almost impossible to see the wealth of knowledge and experience that you currently have if you never traveled outside your village. And if you just stay in one particular city, it's going to be very difficult to have an appreciation of a country if you don't have a better understanding, if you don't take a step back and look at the country. So likewise, we can think of space as a different frontier relative to our common planet, our global village, which is the Earth. For example, the GPS is satellite communications. Plane navigation is satellite communications. You cannot navigate something on Earth if you are yourself on Earth. You have to be outside the Earth to see the Earth. And because you're outside in space, you can probably understand how to navigate on Earth. Space is that, 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 that ultimate position, uh, prime position, a VIP seat that gives us an opportunity to look at the Earth and see how we can optimize conditions on Earth. However, from that same position, much damage, <laughs> unfortunately, can be done too. This uh, answer is going to be for a question that was addressed to us by Mr. Jean-Paul Ngoni. Uh, and his question was basically to know um, if we could have a contribution towards a program that aims at launching a satellite uh, for uh, Cameroon uh, with the understanding that the Ministry of Post and Telecommunications in Cameroon is looking at the possibility of launching its own satellite. Uh, Jean-Paul, I think it's a great idea. You know, 10 years ago, I would have said that this is probably not the right project for a country like Cameroon to undertake simply because it takes enormous resources to launch satellites. But today, there are micro satellites, uh, you know, the size of a football, basically, that you can launch into space. And I'm completely in favor of that kind of project for several reasons. Number one, because I want Cameroonian youth like yourself to be involved in understanding space sciences, in developing technologies and applications that can be launched from, maybe not right now from Cameroon, but certainly designed by Cameroon engineers into space and give the Cameroon uh, scientist an opportunity to be an inhabitant of space that allows you to look down on Earth and understand whether it is in, in matters of communications or surveillance or weather control, geolocation, or any other application, it basically detach you and your brains and your mind from the Earth to space, to an orbit, to better control the environment. This uh, answer is going to be to a question. Uh, by Mr. Bo Armstrong. He remembers that years ago, I had the idea of launching a satellite communications type program in Cameroon. And uh, his question basically was as to know whatever happened to this project, where are we with that project? 
And thank you so very much, uh, uh, Bo, uh, for remembering that. At the age of uh, 23, uh, I had a master's degree and I was a chief of service at the Ministry of Post and Telecommunications and a professor at the uh, School of Post and Telecommunications as well. I uh, advanced to the then uh, Minister of uh, Post and Telecommunications, his name was uh, Mr. Egbe Tabi, uh, a project called the Cameroon DOMSAT. DOMSAT stands for Domestic Satellite and the idea back then was to be able to place a satellite center at the capital city of each one of the then provinces that were called, now they're called regions, uh, of Cameroon uh, and interconnect them with the capital city of Yaoundé with the redundant center in Douala. Uh, but about 10 years ago, I had the idea actually of of a, 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 a macro satellite for Cameroon, uh, just like uh, kids in Ghana uh, just did it. And I think Ethiopia has done that too. But I don't think that call, that idea resonated uh, in the country. So uh, I kind of backed off again because um, the idea was not very, very well received. But I still encourage uh, your generation and youth of, of, of these times to pursue that goal of putting a Cameroon satellite into space by year 2022. Now, th this is the answer to a question by Mr. Shambhala. And uh, his question was basically uh, to know uh, what I'm going to do personally to help advance the development of telecommunications in my own native country, which is Cameroon. For at least 20 years, I have not stopped wanting to help uh, promote not only telecommunications, but the digital revolution, the digital economy development in Cameroon. Over the past 10 years, we have fought uh, and persisted through a lot of these obstacles. And uh, thanks to the blessings of uh, some of the leaders uh, we are now in a position to launch a prototype network in Cameroon in 2021. We have already implemented a pilot system in Douala and in Yaoundé. We're currently testing it. Our project aims at transforming Cameroon youth, retirees, women, and young entrepreneurs into productive members of the digital economy. It is important that we transform the balance sheet from being simply consumers of internet services to producers of internet services and applications. The applications that are developed in order to solve local problems at every level in the country. We're making very good progress to launching a nationwide program in order to change our mindset from being simply consumers of internet products and services to be producers of internet products, services, and applications that are going to solve and optimize the conditions and the living conditions of our fellow neighbors in our own own areas, villages, cities, and regions. This is a uh, response to a question that was addressed to us by Quincy. Uh, and uh, thank you so very much for this question. The question was to know uh, if I have a project that is currently being deployed in Cameroon, and especially um, if I had obstacles along the way. You know, when I give conferences, uh, around the world for that matter, one of the you know, pieces of advice that I give to youth is this. In life, failure is not a tragedy. The real tragedy in life is not to have done your very best. In other words, do not give up to failures. Try again. Stand up and try again. And I think 
I am following my own <laughs> advice uh, with projects in Africa and in Cameroon. There will be a lot of frustrating moments uh, that you can be assured of, but I think you have to stand up and face those challenges and move forward and chase after the, those dreams of yours. Uh, there's some very good people in every country and sooner or later you'll uh, find these people that are going to encourage you and allow you to uh, make your dreams, so to speak, come true. And in this particular case, we have uh, finally managed to have some uh, very good agreements to set up some very good telecommunications projects uh, for youth and for entrepreneurs in Cameroon. I uh, hope that the answers that we've provided to your questions this week uh, are going to be useful. Uh, feel free, and uh, that is our invitation, to ask your questions to us uh, in the comment sections below, and we'll be sure uh, next week to be here again uh, with uh, some real answers to the questions you would have asked uh, with candor, with details, and plenty, plenty of honesty. <laughs> See you next week.